do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play okay. Sing a song and pray That's right God really loves us God really, really cares About you, me, our families That's right God's always right Jungle creatures? Number one. What is super sensational slow moving? Sloth! Number two. What is terrific, tenacious, some might say, um, sharp tooth? Tiger! Number three. What is elegant, excellent, um, big eared and enormous? Elephant! Which is your favorite jungle animal? My all-time favorite jungle animal is a koala! Did you know that koalas sleep up to 20 hours a day? That's a whole lot of snoozing. Hey, that jungle creature quiz was fun! I think I'm gonna call my friend Stacy and give her the jungle quiz. Wouldn't that be fun? Hey, Stacy. Hey, Callie. It's good to see you. Good to see you, too! So my friends and I were just learning about some jungle animals. Which of these are your favorite? The sloth? The tiger? Roar! The elephant? Great sounds, Callie. Hmm, let's see. I don't think I'd choose any of those. My favorite jungle creature is the koala. No way! I said the same thing! No way! Way! No way! Way, way! They're just so cute! So cute! I just want to grab their little noses! Oh, you better not! It's probably sleeping! Koalas sleep up to 20 hours a day! Whoa! That's a lot of snoozing! No way! That's what I said! No way! Way! No way! makes me wonder. Stacy, do you ever wonder? All the time. What are you wondering about? Well, the jungle is a super cool place. But can it be a dangerous place too? That's right, Callie. If the koala is sleeping up to 20 hours a day, how does it stay safe? That is some top-notch wondering you're doing. I wonder the same thing. They must find a very, very safe place before they decide to start snoozing. Well, how do they do that? I'm not sure, Callie. Um, why don't I look it up? In the meanwhile, let's see what today's Bible story is. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Exodus, chapters 14 and 15. God sent Moses to Egypt to free the Israelites. Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, had treated them very badly there, and it was time for them to go. Pharaoh did not want to let the Israelites go, but he was no match for God's power. And after 10 terrible plagues, Pharaoh finally gave up. But once Moses and the Israelites had packed up and headed out, Pharaoh changed his mind. He took off with his army to chase the Israelites down. Soon, Pharaoh and his soldiers began to close in on them. God's people found themselves in a really tough spot. The big Red Sea was in front of them and the Egyptian army was behind them. They were trapped and very scared. But God told them through Moses not to be afraid. Then God did something amazing. When Moses held up his staff, the sea in front of them simply split. This opened up a path for the Israelites to walk through. Can you imagine? The people walked across the Red Sea with a wall of water on each side of them. The Egyptian army tried to follow them, but once all of God's people got to the other side safely, the walls of the water came crashing down. The Israelites were safe. Moses, Miriam, who was Moses' sister, and all of the Israelites celebrated by dancing and singing about how God leads us to safety. Jungle was dangerous. Imagine being the Israelites in the Red Sea. 
they had Pharaoh's army right behind them. Whoa. That must have been hard to do. Yeah. But God said, chill. God's got this. That is cool. Quick, let's do our koala sleeping poses to music. Ready? Go! Speaking of that, guess what? I found out. Koalas sleep in positions that help them blend into the trees so that they stay safe. That's so cool. So the koalas really do chill and they stay safe in the jungle. Yep. We may not spend much time in the jungle or the Red Sea, but God gave us people in our lives, like our parents, guardians, or siblings who keep us safe. And I'm thankful for this Bible story to remind us that we can chill when things get a little crazy because God leads us to safety. That's right, friend. Thanks everyone for learning and growing with me. Bye.